question is did women become the cause of Rockefeller breaking up in the 2000s now normally I don't do topics like this because chatty patty is not even in my lane but considering that this is a hot topic and people wanted us to chime in on how we feel about it I guess I'll take a stab at it because usually this ain't my lane I mean I will usually want to talk about more things within the show and within the dialogue like the negative effects of social media the government shutdown gentrification things of that caliber but to feed y'all chatty patty it's what y'all want I'm gonna go for it do I think that Women were the cause of Rockefeller breaking up? I say yes. Because clearly, there's no other thing that could be deeper than that. Women had, and there's no disrespect to all women, but a lot of women for the most part were the cause of a lot of empires falling, a lot of wars being fought, a lot of blood being shed. So what makes a rap company, a rap label even different? Because first of all, I could say that just by how cozy Jay-Z and Aaliyah looked in a lot of those pictures, I could tell from the gate that there was something going on. Anybody with common sense could see that. But according to Dame's reaction and Dame's interviews as of late, clearly what probably happened was he took Aaliyah from Jay, and according to Choke, Choke what's his name, Choke the Joke, he said that he tried to, Dame tried to get at Beyonce. And Jay Dab and Jay put that a dub. So, considering that these guys haven't spoke to each other for almost 15 years now since the breakup, usually in cases like this, women are involved. And whatever happened, it caused a real deep wedge because this situation is different from the death row situation. Because the reason why that fell, because niggas didn't get paid, niggas got shot, niggas got killed. People got beat up. A whole lot of negative energy was around that situation. Whereas with Rockefeller, they were on top of the world. Despite even though Jay losing the battle to nine, Jay was still selling. Jay, they said they had just signed Cameron. They had just signed Dipset. They had just signed Kanye West to a solo deal. They was about to get a Twister, ODB. They had State Property. They had Myth Bleak doing gold numbers. Rockefeller had a roster, man. So for it to all of a sudden, all these family trees that was built from Beans and State Property, Jay-Z and his amid camp. Then you had Cam bringing Dipset. Then you had the, uh, Kanye bringing his backpack click at the time. The Rock should have been thriving right now. So for all of a sudden, for these guys to say, well, we just separate, we just went separate ways and we never wanted to do business with one another. I feel that's a load of crock because usually in cases like this, women are involved. We just grew apart. Nah, that's the politically correct answer for they don't want to besmirch Aaliyah's name. Out of respect to the girl's memory, they chose to keep that situation silent. So they want to sell the storyline of it just being growing apart which is really not the case in this in in the way things are coming out now and i feel that i hate to see that Aaliyah's name is getting drugged through the mud in this and i see suckers out there calling her a thought you know be smirching her memory for pay up for just for just for clout it's disgusting so the question is is do you guys think that women were the cause of rockefeller breaking up in the 2000s did Aaliyah play a role in causing that wedge? Did Dane really hit on Beyonce? Let me know what y'all think, man. This is King Eric the Great signing out. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below. Peace.